Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. We're doing the series looking at what it means to be in Christ. And today we're going to see that in Christ we are called to witness. A key verse taken from Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Do you know that your life affects others in so many ways? Just before Jesus ascended into heaven, he told his disciples, You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea, Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Implementing the rules of simple grammar here, we notice that being a witness is not a choice, it's your identity, it's not an option, it's an assumption. We often persuade ourselves that we have a decision whether we witness or not, but the truth is, when we have chosen not to witness, we have actually decided on being a poor or bad witness. A survey was given to attendees who came to a Billy Graham crusade in Detroit. One question asked, what's your greatest hindrance to witnessing? 9% said they were too busy to remember to do it. 28% felt lack of real information to share. None said that they didn't care at all. 12% said that their own lives did not speak the way it should. But by far the largest group were 41% who said the biggest problem was fear of how the other person would react. Rick Warren wrote, Most people are scared to death to be a witness. They think that a witness means that they have to explain why Jesus died on the cross, quote verses from memory and know a bunch of theology and doctrine. You don't have to know a single Bible verse to be a witness. Do you know the difference between the job of a witness and an attorney? It is the job of the attorney to press the case, to show the evidence and to ask for a decision. Not once in scripture does Jesus say, and you will be my attorney. It's not your job to convince people to accept Christ. That's the Holy Spirit's job. You are not called to be an attorney. You are called and commanded to be a witness for God. What do witnesses do? They say, this is what I saw. I saw the blue car run into a red car. Are you an expert on cars? No. Do you know everything there is? No. No. You just share what you have seen. That's the call of a witness. We sometimes feel it's our responsibility to convince people of sin. But Jesus teaches that we shall witness alongside the work of the Holy Spirit in the lives of a believer. God commands us and empowers us to be his witnesses. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you that you've given us a calling in you. And you've called us to witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the world. Lord, we pray that you will help us to be a good witness in our families, amongst our friends, in our workplace, and wherever we happen to be, and to all the ends of the earth. Lord, give us a global vision for mission, we pray. Lord, sometimes we are, like so many others, we are fearful in sharing. We are worried about what the other person may say, what they may think of us, what they may ask. We don't know how to answer correctly. Lord, help us to share freely and naturally what you are doing in our lives. Lord, you are so real to us. You speak to us each and every single day as we read your word. Lord, you communicate with us as we spend moments in prayer with you. Help us not to be timid in sharing what you're saying, what you're speaking, but help us be a witness that you're calling us to be. Lord, we thank you that you give us grace and empower us to witness for you. And Lord, we trust that as we partnership with you and the Holy Spirit in this work, the Holy Spirit will be working in the lives of the people we are witnessing to as we call others to you, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.